Um, my name is Chris. Get into the camera, please. Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm addicted to dance. Wow. Sounds, sounds weird actually saying it out loud. I have at least 23 pairs of bands, and that's not including other clothing and other accessories like backpacks. Wow, that's a lot of bands. At least you're wearing something different today. I'm actually not. This is a van shirt. So Chris, when did your addiction begin? Well, I used to jerk and the shoe option at the time was Volados and eventually those just stopped being so popular. So I went on to the next thing and the first thing I found were these pair of black and white checkered slip-on bands and as soon as I put those on, I was hooked. First thing I did when I put those on was get on my tippy toes just to see how well I could dance with them. And all I can remember is hearing my mom crying in the background. She was so disappointed. Something else that I'm not really proud to show people, which is why I got it under my clothes, is my Vans tattoo. Are Vans only shoes that you have? Well, I buy other shoes, but that's mostly just for the box. I put the other shoes in bags and throw them in my closet. And the Vans, I just put them inside the shoe box. So if anyone sees the box, they'll think, oh, this guy's not addicted to Vans. And I just really hope they don't open it. Tell us about the incidents where you had a friend in some of your shoes. Well, I'm not too proud of it, especially since I got caught. Um, I had a pair of Vans. They were brand new. I've worn them once. I really liked how they looked, but I didn't like the way they felt. So my friend said, hey, let's sell these. And I was like, yeah, sure. Joking, of course. I would never want to sell a pair of my Vans. And he took it all the way. We put it on offer up, and there was so many people who wanted them instantly. Uh, the one person that actually did want to get them 100% and said that they could meet that day, he gave us the location and I couldn't go with him. I just, I just couldn't. So he went on his own and he got there. The guy came towards him wearing a hoodie. It was pretty dark and he gave him the money. It wasn't anything scary like that, but he said, hey, you sound familiar. And then I said, yeah, I, because I was the one who was there. It was me. I was the one who wanted to buy the bands. I just couldn't, I couldn't let one of my babies go, you know? Like if you were a mom and you had kids, would you sell them on OfferUp? No, those are my babies. 